So welcome to the 12th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the menu strip and tool strip and status strip controls and what the menu strip is is basically this file edit view this thing and you get the drop down controls and then they go off off cross and then a tool strip is basically like all these icons you got so you got like undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, new, save, all of those things and then the status strip is this thing down here so you see it says like coordinates data and it's got ready and like in word it says 200 words or however many words you have that's what the status strip is <coughs> and in visual basic we can do all of these things so go into your toolbox and first we're going to start in menu strip and it's just there drag that in and there's the menu strip and we can add items to this, we don't even have to do any code or edit properties and things we can just type here so I'm going to do file and then edit I'm just going to put those two for now and then here we can put like new open save save as exit so like that, and we can put like undo oops put undo, redo, cut, copy, paste and select all. I'm only going to do these two drop downs at the moment and I'm just going to rename the form to um, UI features because I suppose that's kind of what it is. Ok so we also have the tool strip menu and just look for that it's not tool tip, it's tool strip. Like that. And in here we can put like this is like icons, but we can if we want to, we can have like a split button where we and change this to text. It's kind of the same thing as this, but the mini strip is designed for that. This one's more designed for icons. So I'm just gonna undo that. Like that. So we can put some icons onto this, but we can also put the standard items like new, save, open, all of that. So if you just click on the uh, tool strip, and over here in the properties we've got insert standard items. So if you press that, we get new, open, save, print, cut, copy, paste, and help. And something I just want to tell you about is uh, in the menu strip actually is notice how we got these lines here and we can do that in the menu strip to break apart like new from open open from save so what we need to do is we can just click on right click on new and put insert separator and just drag that into place like that and we just put more if we want just we can just put in as many as we like just split them up and drag them into place so like that and in visual, in visual basic we have that and in most programs we do like in older versions of word we had it and notepad we have it it just breaks it all apart separates it you probably don't even notice it when you use menu strip but it does make a difference and we can also do that in here as well we can just press this drop down and do separator and then one last thing is the status strip and just find that in your toolbox status strip and that is like this bar down here and we can just insert items so we can put a label and in the properties we can rename that label to ready or whatever we want <coughs> so that's how we can build like a UI so if I run that you can see this in action so that's how we build like a, a UI in Visual Basic and you can see it looks a lot more professional and when I maximize this you see they stretch across the whole form so it, it's not like you have to actually manually do it yourself so that's a good way to create a UI in Visual Basic don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe on this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial